Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A kiss from 10 years prior returned to cause major problems for Tom Schwartz and Shanna Shea. On Tuesday's episode of Vanderpump Rules, the Schwartz and Sandy's co-proprietor, 41, made a stunning admission to Lala Kent, saying, I was a makeup skank. I made out with Shanna like quite a while back in Vegas. At the point when Lala, 33, asked when the makeout occurred, he uncovered that it was during a rough second when he was dating now ex Katie Maloney, who actually had barely any insight into the Vegas experience. Lala then willingly volunteered to be the conveyor of the awful news. After she uncovered Schwartz's confidential, his stunned ex said, What the genuine fifth? Is it safe to say that you are messing with me? I simply have such countless inquiries like when was this and where precisely was this? And was this the time that Schwartz said he went to Vegas and made out with one of Sheena's companions? And was it really, as a matter of fact, Sheena? The give them, Lala Magnificent's pioneer, let it out was an essential decision to examine it with Katie before Sheena, saying, I went this way and that on, whether I ought to converse with Sheena first or Katie first, and I concluded that I expected to converse with Katie first. I would rather not give Sheena time to sort out a method for making this a lovely picture. Be that as it may, Katie, 37, thought straight to the point when she went up against Sheena, 38, about going despite her good faith with her then-sweetheart. Sheena then, at that point, shared her side of the story and reviewed that Schwartz was the one to start a kiss yet, it was anything but a makeout. Could I at any point let you know who I was making out with on that excursion? Ariana, she added. Sheena further point by point her choice to stay quiet about the kiss for ten years, telling the cameras, I needed to imagine like this won't ever occur. I never told ex-spouse Mike. Shay. I never told my mother. I never told my closest companions. That is to say, additionally, I couldn't have ever told Katie particularly in those days on the grounds that the bitch is frightening, it's absolutely impossible that in heck. I would have been like, coincidentally, your man needed me in Vegas, and he kissed me. Like, no, never. Yet Katie saw the matter in an unexpected way, sharing, I would have expected something like this from Schwartz. However, she has had exacting a very long time to enlighten me concerning this. I could do without liars and particularly lying by oversight. It simply makes me keep thinking about whether I'll at any point have the option to actually completely trust or be close with Sheena. She at long last told Sheena, I wish I would have known. The something about her co-proprietor later went to Schwartz and let them know she felt hurt that she was kept in obscurity about his kiss with Sheena. Nonetheless, Katie had her own mysterious, which was uncovered by Sheena's significant other Brock Davies. He let Schwartz know that she had connected with somebody in your companion bunch, who ended up being Tom Tom's chief and his closest companion, Max Boyens, following an evening of celebrating. Schwartz was shocked by the information and said the matching had every one of the indications of a retribution bang. Somewhere else on Tuesday's episode, Tom Sandoval endeavored to make peace with Lala, making sense of Lala and I. I couldn't say whether you've actually at any point been that nearby. In a way, it appears to be less about reconnecting and more about really fabricating a genuinely new thing. During a discussion after his breathwork meeting, which he called in close to home living being, the pair examined his title-making issue with Rachel Rachel Levis, which cut off his nine-year friendship with Ariana Maddox. Whatever happened with you and Ariana and whatever choices that you made, do I endorse them? No. Do I figure out them? No, Lala told Sandoval. She conceded that Scandoval was a trigger for her following the downfall of her own relationship with Randall Emmett. He conceded that she is dealing with herself, adding, I'm attempting to trust once more. What's more? I don't need you paying for my involvement in another person. Sandoval then thought about his own background. The manner in which things have worked out in my life. 
I in all actuality do feel like this should occur, he said, apparently alluding to Scandival. Furthermore, perhaps like what you went through clearly was perhaps should occur. I've been kept locked down to my experience for a really long time, she answered. You and what you did, that isn't my battle. I presently need to go into this is what I need. I feel significantly better about this. What's more, I felt better about coming here and having this discussion with you and telling you that this is great for me. He added, I value your weakness. I might want to turn out to be better companions with you and put resources into that. Lala Kent had worries for her companion, Ariana Maddox. Be that as it may, these worries prompted a fellowship finishing battle. Ariana Maddox has acquired a variety of chances since her drawn out bow, Tom Sandoval, undermined her. This has caused some show inside the gathering, and it appears it finished a companionship. Continue to peruse to figure out why Lala was so worried about Ariana. Lala Kent uncovers. This season is more profound than the rest. Lala Kent let fans know the season gets further than any of the past seasons. There are a great deal of certifiable issues that got brought into this season. I think you all will see as the season goes on. This season is altogether different. It's somewhat more profound than we're utilized to. The finale was extremely serious. Lala and the remainder of the cast have gone through a great deal during their time shooting the show. In any case, Lala is currently pregnant with her subsequent youngster and can hardly stand by to understand what the orientation is. Why was Lala concerned? Lala uncovered she was worried about her companion and felt like she expected to have some time off from Vanderpump rules. I believe individuals must realize that she didn't have a lot of opportunity to process before we went into shooting. At the point when Lala was inquired as to whether she felt that Ariana expected to make a stride back from the show and enjoy some time off, she said, Oko. Okay. A few fans concur with this. She was with Tom Sandoval for just about a decade when she figured out he was engaging in extramarital relations with quite possibly of her closest companion. This requires some investment to mend from and from that point forward she has quite recently been getting increasingly occupied. She is as of now performing on Broadway. In any case, Lala emerged from a position of adoration and concern, and it appears Ariana didn't take it that way. Who knows whether the kinship can be fixed after this? It appears like Lala felt Ariana expected to enjoy some time off from the show, and that didn't agree with Ariana. It is obscure what else was said during the contention. However, fans can hardly hold on to see it on the show. Andy Cohen uncovered there would have been shouting, battles, and kinships finished. It appears to be that this could a lot of be the battle he was discussing. What is your take? Do you suppose Lala reserved an option to be concerned? Sound off in the remarks beneath. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.